In this video, we are going to discuss about code optimization. So let's see what optimization is. Any method by which code is modified to improve its quality and efficiency is called code optimization. So there are two terms, quality and efficiency. The quality of the program increases and efficiency of the program increases. However, there is another aspect to code optimization. If the code is optimized, then its lifespan is more. A good code can be reused even when it is the old program is discarded. That part of the code can be reused in the new program. Code efficiency is an important factor in ensuring high performance of the software. If the code is optimized, it has very high quality, its efficiency is good, so its overall performance is also very excellent. Let's see how we can do this optimization. There are two approaches to optimization. The first one is intuition based optimization. Intuition, what we feel. So many programmers use just their skills, their programming skills to optimize the program. They read the program and due to their expertise and prior experience, they know that okay, this instruction will take more memory space or this part of the program can be written in fewer statements in a better way. That is called intuition based optimization or IBO. This works only for programs that have very low level of complexity. So what do we do for the other complex programs? We use evidence based optimization. What is that? Automated tools are used to find out performance bottlenecks and then relevant portions are optimized accordingly. A whole chunk of program is run through that automated tool and that tool tells you which part of the program is creating the bottleneck, which part of the program is bringing down the efficiency, the speed and overall performance of your software. Every language has its own set of tools that can be used for evidence based optimization. For example, if you are using Java, you can use PMD, FindBug or Clover to optimize the Java code. Now let's look at why we should optimize our programs. Code is optimized for execution time and memory consumption because Time is scarce and memory is expensive. So to optimize our two resources, two most important resources, time and memory, we should optimize our code. There should be a balance between the two. To save on time, you should not use too much of memory and to save on memory, you should not use too much of time. Let's take a very small example that you can understand. We are writing a small program or rather a segment of program to swap two variables. Now this swapping can be done using extra variable and without using the extra variable. If you use the extra variable, you have num1, num2 and swap. These three variables are being used and these are the steps that are being used. If you are not using an extra variable, then only num1 and num2, these are the two variables that you are using. So using two variables utilizes less amount of memory space obviously because if you have another extra variable then more space will be required. So you can understand that if in four lines of program you are saving on the space of one variable if you have a large program and you make many such optimizations you will be able to save on lots of memory. In this video we have discussed about what optimization is and why we should optimize. In the next video, we are going to discuss about the types of optimizations.